pretty much all my life, or at least from the first time I colored my hair. And one of the perks is that even at a time like this where it's raining cats and dogs and the only thing that's looking pretty are potholes, I still have a great hair day. So thanks to L'Oreal. Any questions for me? This is the first time in my life nobody has any questions. <laughs> Hi. Um, we all have our fair share of bad hair days, so I wanted to know if you have like any worst hair memory or something. I um, the worst hair memory is I went for a haircut, and by the time it was done, the back of my head had been shaved, and I was looking at the hair on the floor and crying. So I don't think it can get worse than that. And. Hi. Hi. I just want to say you're a big inspiration to a lot of women all over India. I just wanted to know what is your signature beauty style? Because I'm someone who does a lot of things and I'm also I'm a working woman and I'm a mom, my signature style would be to make the minimum effort and have the maximum effect. So there are loads of things I do. I probably blow dry only the front of my hair. And uh, there are times when I also end up, and L'Oreal kills me for it, where I say just color half my hair and let me go. Who's going to look at the back? So yeah, I save time by lots of short tricks. Thanks. Everyone's doing. Wow. <laughs> nice. Thank you. 
Hi. Uh, how do you prep your hair before you go on a holiday? Do you go for a treatment? Is there something that you do specifically? I think what I try and do most of the time is um, I probably use power mix in my hair. And uh, again, though I know this is the wrong platform to say it, but I don't think we have to be really obsessed with the way we look as much as we are. So there are times on days where you have to look your best and you, you know, curl your hair and you go to a salon and you color your hair. And then there are other times when you have to just let yourself be, have salt in your hair, run around, let it burn, then fix it.